CNN Money has quite a story for us about the head of Trump's economic council. Uh, he went with the president of Goldman Sachs for that position. The president of Goldman Sachs. <laughs> That's like, when you're not even trying to hide it anymore. You're just, I don't know. Take the top guy from Goldman Sachs. So this is what we went after Hillary for, man. Hillary with, what was it, $625,000 or $675,000 from Goldman Sachs for a couple speeches that she gave. Well, you know, they're doing that to, to try to curry favor. They're doing that to try to get special deals and to have somebody in the government looking out for them and letting them do whatever the hell they want. Well, now under Trump, he's doing the same thing. In fact, I think Trump is more brazen than Hillary would have been on this front. Because this is... It's not just one guy. Oh, you know, hey, there's one guy from Goldman Sachs in his administration. Let him go. This is the second one. And actually, I wouldn't let him go after one either. I don't know who I'm kidding. I would still be super pissed off. <laughs> but so you have Steve Mnuchin, now for Treasury Secretary. Disaster, because the guy, you know, was with Goldman Sachs for 17 years. He headed, uh, he was the head of One West Bank, which specialized in foreclosing on senior citizens. So he's not looking out for the little guy. That guy should be the last person with that position. And now you have Gary Cohn, the president of Goldman Sachs, leading his economic council. But listen to this. CNN Money explains here. Gary Cohn is walking away from a career at Goldman Sachs to become President Trump's top economic advisor with a stunning $285 million. Goldman's willingness to give Cohn a chunk of that fortune ahead of schedule is causing unease among ethics experts who say the huge payout will make him beholden to the Wall Street firm he worked at for 25 years. They say that Cohn should have to rescue himself from Trump, uh, Trump administration matters linked to his former firm. He picked this guy to lead his economic council. And then as he walks out of the door from Goldman Sachs, Goldman Sachs says, hey, buddy, here's $285 million. Is anybody on the planet dumb enough to believe he's not going to take that phone call from Goldman? He's not going to craft policy, bend the law just a little bit here and there to help them out? Oh, you bet your sweet ass that this guy's going to say, hey, you need a corporate welfare check? Here you go. You need a special tax break? Here you go. You need to us to look the other way as you use tax, illegal tax havens, offshore tax havens? Uh, you know, it is what it is. You do what you want. You want some special deregulation to come your way? Here you go. You want some uh, favoritism over at the Department of Justice? Oh, okay, here you go. Guys, this is how the country really works. This is how politics really works. This is corruption 101. And we're so used to it that people go out there and they scream, drain the swamp, and then they vote for Donald Trump, and Trump does this, and now what are they saying today? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. He's just picking somebody who's competent in that position, and that's why he went with this person. It's got nothing to do with the fact that... <laughs> no, it does. It does have to do with that. Come on, man. Don't be stupid. Don't be... Don't be purposefully dense. <laughs> Protect Daddy Trump at all costs. That's what I got to do. This is the swamp. This is as swampy as it gets. Trump just took a bath in swamp water. That's what this is. He just had swamp water dumped in the center of the Oval Office. This is what we're talking about. So this is as bad as it gets. I don't know how it could get worse than this. I really don't. The president of Goldman Sachs, the head of the Economic Council, and he took $285 million while he is now going to the government. You do understand that this is a criminal organization, right? I feel like people, after a while, you know, you either you don't talk about it in a long time or you're just desensitized to it, but Goldman Sachs, right before the subprime mortgage crisis and the Great Recession, what they would do is they would package together all these toxic mortgages. Now, they were rated AAA, but that was all a ruse and it was a scam because they paid the rating agencies to give them AAA, even though they were shit. But uh, they would sell these to unsuspecting clients and tell the clients, you're going to make a lot of money. Trust me, invest in this here. And then they would turn around and bet on those same packages that they just sold to fail. They said, we think they're going to fail, so let's bet on them to fail. So they'd make money two ways. By selling it, pretending it's good even though it's shit, and then by betting on it to fail. That's what we call fraud. 
When Bernie Sanders says fraud is a, a business model at Wall Street, that's what he's talking about. And Goldman Sachs was the worst offender. They were patient zero. So they do that, and then they get a pat on the back. You get the Democratic uh, nominee giving speeches to them, and they pay her off. Hmm. I bet she's not going to look out for them if she were to get elected. And now Donald Trump, the guy who was picked in many instances because... People viewed him as more detached from the establishment. Well, now he's doing exactly, he just put it on human growth hormone and steroids, and he's got two people from Goldman who are close to him, one Treasury Secretary, one the, the Economic Council. So I don't want to hear anybody ever come to me and talk about draining the swamp again. He's not doing that. He's an establishment sellout. He's their little bitch boy. So again, understand, it's what he's doing. It's not, oh, Kyle, liberal partisan bias. Oh my God, oh, he's extrapolating and blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. He picked him for the head of the Economic Council, and that guy took $285 million from Goldman. Facts. These are facts. Acknowledge them. This is the reality.